she'll remain on her cell phone. She'll carry her phone around. They, got, they all do this. Whoever's up there, whatever female, they usually all do this. Carry their music, their yin, around, like, or their rap. I'm scared of you. Yeah, that's why I'm running from you. I don't know if she was talking about me. It might sound, seems like it. Um, the punching the face was, I definitely would have to assert that that's me. She said that to a punching face. It was just a stream of violence coming out of her mouth. The drop kicking, I, it might be. I have to listen to it again and again. When I was standing there, that's how I interpreted it. But when I listened to it again, anyways, point is, why am I scared of some bitch that carries around rap? Rihanna on a cell phone. Honey, I'm not scared of you. But this is the point. She's going to remain on her cell Like, I, I'm not even going to get hurt if I fight her. All right? Oh, she's going to drop. I'm not going to fight nobody here. All right? Nobody here is going to know emergency room for a scrap. That's because of me. Because I'm really good at what I fucking do. All right. But... Um, a, a scrap exactly because they listen to Rihanna and they got all this hair and they're, and they're mad soft. These are not crip bitches, okay? These are what I've alleged prostitutes. All right, it's different, and they're not they're not corner necessarily. We know anybody who knows prostitution. What I'm talking about with them, these ones would easily be involved with dirty cops. Call girls for them. What I've been alleging. This is why I'm filming because what I allege is the only reason why these stupid idiots, the ones she's on her phone with, the ones that come in, in the house, the ones that are always up there, one out of the four, the only reason why they're in their, their room right now, laughing, getting high, talking, all this violence, spewing violence out of their mouth, um, doing all the stuff I allege on a daily basis, the only reason is because I allege they're protected by the DOJ because of the prostitution they're involved with and they're protected by the DCPD. To a certain extent. Not so much as when I first started um, alleging this. But to a certain extent, they I would say factually, to me, the only way I could explain why they're still able to sit up there and be that fucking stupid. Because this is clearly just idiocy. No gang members that stupid don't get busted for this long. I mean, they're approaching cabs, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't need to school that the fucking choir here so that's proving my allegation even more right right this is getting really caliente this house like any seasoned prosecutor or fed like the general and all his crew they're on top of this shit i can only imagine what this says to them all right because she's for one still on her phone possibly that phone's wired and the other idiot they just they never get off the phone I am Maria the Bendejo, right? The Bendejo is here. I know. Why are they? Right. No, because of what I allege. But only so much are the DOJ and all these fucking dirty fucking people protecting them. And this is not going to go on forever. No, but they're so Bendejo. They don't, they don't see that. No. Also, the only reason why um, all of this is continued. I kind of forgot my point. I just, I'm just, I'm just amazed. Um, the stupidity here. Oh, the phone possibly, I'm just going to play games legalese. Possibly the phones are all rigged here. The f surveillance on this house, play legalese. Possibly. You just, like you might as well just take your, all this ounces of dope that you're allegedly stashing, just carry it in a see-through bag. In and out. Like, why not? Why not? Man, why don't you tweet that? That's because they believe. They're under the false belief. That they're forever protected to just commit so many felonies that I allege some of them are getting life sentences here. I'm staying clear of them. Because if you threaten somebody, if they even connect the dots, they might never come out of the inside. I, I certainly don't want to be in the line of fire of that. That's for the tactical team, the SWAT team to deal with that. No, and I know that. But um, that would be the only reason why, because they're so mucho fucking stupid. They go. She's just made a false uh, 
report. It's all booked. They don't understand law. No, they don't. I know that. And and they don't. They think the fact that I'm not talking to them is because I'm scared and get drop kicked. No, bitch. I'm sending you to the fucking pen. You dumb bitch. I've done my job. All right. But the the um the the staying on the phone, talking to everybody, and um. All this, I keep on forgetting my points. I'm sorry. It's a lot of stress here. But it's clear that they do believe that there has to be some sort of level that raises this to the federal prosecution level because now we're, we're dealing with what I've alleged. A lot of other dirty uh, individuals that these folks, what I allege, let me be frank, at the DOJ and all these places that I have put clear, um, can only cover this for so long because their people here are so mucho fucking stupidio, right? Everybody who knows anything about law knows what I'm saying. And then, and then some, I can only imagine the good prosecutors and like, and Poppy General, like they could tell me like this shit's a wrap. My job really right now, like I've been saying is to steer clear of them because I don't think it'll even connect the dots with them how slam dunk they're going to prison is. But I need to stay away from people like that, right? And also, I don't talk to them. No, because I did a good job like that. I never fucking said nothing to no one here. I just did what I did, and it, I sent it right to the boss. That's what I've been saying. It's the same as those construction workers down the street. I don't say nothing. I just tell the boss, dude. Tell the boss, mommy. That's really sometimes all I got to do. All right, bye.